What is up, YouTube? Another episode right here. We're going to be going to the homies uh, event for his store, People's Champions. So we're going to go over there and see what he's got. He's got a couple vendors out there today. It is the anniversary of the store. And let's check it out, guys. Thank you. All right, have a nice night. Hey, All if you're right. healthy, let's pizza. All right, thank you. Can we take, take a picture of that? Name, phone number. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. He's like, yeah. <laughs> All right, who has done a raffle? There you go. Okay. About your GoPro? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, I brought it in. Yeah, you can't even tell. I just got Thank one, bro. bro. But oh, I mean, nice, I don't, nice. I got to mess with it. I should have got it a week ago and messed with it. Yeah, yeah. Do you have to download the app? How does that you, you Just get the app, bro. Do you get a subscription? Yeah, you don't even need that, though. You just, if you have a, a computer or if, if it's easier, though, you just do it on your phone. Oh, okay. So you just put it from there. Yeah, I got the, the app, app on the phone, but I still got to mess a, with it. A picture with the yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. You got to be able to read it. Thanks, bro. We're going to look around outside, too. Oh, the homies is gone. Wow. Hey, if you're hungry, just pizza over there. Oh, thank you, big guy. Appreciate it. Yeah, you too, doc. What is up, all my thrift store junkies? On this video here, I'm going to be muting almost the whole entire video. This event had so much music playing that will give me another copyright strike, and I'm not really trying to have that happen. So, guys, like I said, most of this video is going to be muted. There was some good conversations, but like I said, guys, too much music being played will get me strikes and I'm not trying to get that on YouTube. Go ahead and enjoy this video guys. Like I've said before, like and subscribe and share to everyone you love. As you can see my boy in the mirror right there shout out to devin he is the one who gave me that shack uh vintage one he was on his way out of this event he was on his way to church if you're scared go to church now nah, i'm kidding with you bro yeah shout out to you devin like i said i appreciate you for subscribing and hitting that like button bro this tea right here caught my eye so I went back to these bins right here. These bins were only five bucks. Uh, this is really all I really saw out of this here. Guys, double-sided. It's got like that Alice uh, style to it. You know what I'm saying? You see the caterpillar in the back, guys. This tea I ended up copping. And there was really nothing else, like I said, in this bin. You'll see this Tweety tea that I was gonna end up getting. Uh, low vintage one. It was 35. I ended up skipping on it. Kind of regret it though. I had a couple bangers on these hangers right here guys and uh right here is where i'll show the tweety and sylvester tea that i did wanted to get I, I really do regret it guys like you'll see me go back to it and uh have a conversation with the guy going back and forth about how much he was asking for it and you know what i ended up leaving it shout outs to you man if i see you in another event i think i'm gonna cop it this guy had a bunch of stuff in here You'll see the Grateful Dead uh, tie-dye tee. I didn't ask how much it was. I uh, skipped on it. It was a little too big for me, but check it out, man. Things super clean. V 
vintage lifestyle is such a small world guys this guy right here i'm showing on the clip he has his booth here he knows alex i met him about a year ago him coming from offer up to the dungeon he bought so many things from me i actually saw a couple pieces that he bought for me that are on his hangers guys like i said this community is so small you will be seeing each other throughout the years if you are still staying in that vintage lifestyle you'll see he has a t here it's a god smack one uh he was asking 20 for it i thought about it i love the back of it more than anything it had the middle finger i ended up not getting it and i passed on it but shout outs to you bro i do not remember your name I'm horrible with names, but we'll never forget faces. Shout out to you, my bro. Hopefully you're subscribed and you're hitting that like button. Yo, I just want to add in real quick. Shout outs to every vendor that was out there. If you see yourself in this video, when you eventually find this in your recommendations, guys, hit that subscribe and like and shout me out on the video. Let me know you saw yourself in this video as well, guys. Like I said, shout outs to everybody. Shout outs to Alex. Shout outs to the People's Champions for having this event and letting everybody show their stuff off or even just make some money out there to get this thing going everybody had a cool nice vibe guys i bought a couple things i was just planning to go just support alex and not really buy anything but hey guess what i ended up buying some things there was a bunch of cool pieces shout outs to everybody that was there This guy had some pieces on this racks here, guys. As you can see, like this here, this is a banger to me. It is a newer one, but check it out, guys. Homies, you already know I collect it. Check out all these jerseys right here. These two jerseys is something you definitely need in your collection. This is something you must have. Guys, I'm on my way to get them. I have not got them, but guys, check it out. You manifest it, it will come to you, guys. This guy had a bunch of pieces on these racks. I'm telling you, it was all fire on here, basically. He did have some newer pieces in there, but they were all cool graphics. Like I've said to you guys before, it's all about cool graphics for me. I got that Suns jacket right there. I don't know if I've showed you guys before, but this is a heater right here, guys. And they're paying $2 at a yard sale for that. Guys, check out the rest of this guy's racks. Guys, I asked people at every single one of these uh, spots, I was asking them, hey, you know, is it okay if I record? I'm about to be recording. And everybody was cool about it, but you just never know. You might just get that one person that's just like, nah, nah, man, don't be recording me or anything like that. Or nah, I'm not cool with that because I'm like, you never know. They're just shy, you know what I mean? Shout outs to you, my brother. We'll see you in the next event.
shout out to the homie right here for reals. He's a real one. Guys, at this next vendor spot, guys, I ended up loving all this stuff this guy had. I love plushes as well. Not too crazy about them, but I love like Looney Tunes, stuff like that, guys. He had the Taco Bell dog. Check it out. He had like 20 of them on the table. Guys, I saw these hats and I spotted one that I've been looking for for a very long time. It is a grill to me, guys. It is brand new with tags and I found it. There's a gentleman who works at my job. He's an older guy. He has this hat and he is not trying to sell it to me, guys. I ended up paying $40 for this hat, which I think is an incredible steal. This guy gave me the hat for the low. I appreciate you. Guys, this guy is a younger cat and he also gave me tips as well. So when you're going out there sourcing, looking for stuff, you never know. An old cat can give young cat information and a young cat could give uh, old cat some information so shout outs to you my brother we're gonna throw your ig on there so everybody can see it shout outs to you big dog there it is guys go ahead and follow this man right here he has excellent prices shout outs to you like i said big dog at this next spot here this guy had ten dollar floor stuff so you know he had a couple polos and stuff like that i saw some pants but I ended up looking at the tag and it was definitely not going to fit me. Not even in my dreams, guys. This guy was cool. Like I said, I wish you guys can hear these conversations that I was having with people. He had a raffle on some Supreme shoes. They were size 10 and a half. So I just really thought about not even doing it. I don't really do stuff like that. And was not planning to stay till 5 p.m. to hear who was going to win. Guys, there wasn't really nothing on this ground here. But on his racks, he did have some cool pieces. He had free items in this here. So if if you buy something some of these had tags that it said free so if you got something for five bucks you end up getting something else for free guys cool conversation cool cat they had a good spot they had some bathing apes which you will see in this uh video here guys shout outs to you big dog he has some cool stuff on this table as well
right guys at this spot here i spotted two nice pieces like you already know me already i love the looney tune stuff this one was cool and also the other one that is about to be showed right here i thought this one was super cool but you know what i mean he uh we talked about prices he wanted 60 bucks for this one i mean i can see him selling it for 60 but i just can't see myself paying $60 for this piece right here, guys. It is super cool. I wish it was in my collection, but I will find it when I go out to the thrift. That Tweety one that was behind there, he wanted uh, 40 bucks for it. Uh, we went back and forth on prices on this hat that you guys will see in a bit here. It was a billionaire's boy club. I love Camel. Uh, he couldn't settle on a price, and I told him, you know what? I'm pretty cheap. I'm not going to lie to you. So just tell me what you think, and we'll go from there. He said 30 bucks. I said, you know what? That's a little too high for me. I don't want to offend you with my price, because honestly, I probably would have said like 10 or 15 bucks. I'm a cheapie when it comes to this stuff. I want to get it for the low so I can keep it at the crib. I'm not really getting this stuff to resell it, guys. When it's something like this that I want for myself, I want to get it for an okay price. Just like that uh, Michael Jordan had, that Bulls one. You already know. Shout outs to you, though, in this vending spot. I will see you in the next event. Yo, at this next vendor, he was like the quietest, chillest one, guys. But check it out. Silent, but deadly. Check out these pieces he has hanging here, guys. Like, each piece is like $200 to $300. And I could understand why, because these pieces are like super incredible. Guys, to find one of these, it's like a grail to many people. Some of these still have tags. This pink one just kept calling me look like looking at me and guys that piece is super incredible to me i will show it once again just so y'all see it right there this is dom right here we had cool conversation with each other guys you will see here uh he'll talk about his uh instagram doms underscore vintage on instagram guys go look for him if you are looking for these pieces i'm pretty sure he will ship to you guys even if you're not in arizona shout out to you my boy we had a cool conversation we had some laughs i will see you at the next event bro much love Yeah, the YouTube, yeah. I was, I'm recording right now. Yours. Uh, what's up? <laughs> the original plug right here. <laughs> Shout out to this local legend right here, guys. This is More He Vintage. Guys, you guys can find him on Instagram, everywhere. I'm pretty sure he has it on every platform. MoreHeVintage.com. This guy is the one who started it for me, guys. I used to have just regular yard sales and just collect and collect and collect and stuff like that. Guys, he came to one of my yard sales and that's where it all started. He was like, you should just start selling this stuff, bro. Shout outs to you, bro. This spot here, guys, you can see I showed the table with the hats, guys. We ended up copping a hat. Check out that Betty Boop, y'all. Super fire. Back to it. Guys, we ended up copping a hat. It's an old school vintage. It's a Looney Tunes one. It's all red, black brim. It's got Sylvester on it. It's got Tweety. Y'all already know some original classics, guys. We asked how much it was. It was 15 bucks, guys. Of course, we were going to pick it up. I ended up picking up for my daughter. Now she has a cool 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 hat in her collection guys shout out to this vendor right here i'm gonna show you their ig and their depop shop so you guys can shop at them you already know shout out to you
This next spot right here was like one of my favorites. I'm from Phoenix. You already know, Phoenix Suns is my favorite team besides the Bulls. But check it out, all this Phoenix stuff on here, guys. I will show his Instagram, his whole everything. You will see it on one of his cards that are on his t-shirt where he tags his stuff. Guys, check out all these Phoenix pieces. You already know I was going crazy all over this stuff. Guys, check out all these pieces. This guy was cool. You guys will see it real quick. I'm going to show a quick shot of it zoomed in just so you guys can check them out shout outs to him you already know guys this is the best spot to me check out that right there oh my god guys i'm going crazy over just looking at this video again guys shout outs to you my brother i will see you at the next event Here is the last vendor spot that we ended up going to, guys. Check out these four pieces right in the front. Guys, if you have these in your closet, there are some super incredible fire pieces, guys. If you do have these in collection, let me know in the comments. Check out that crew neck right there. I didn't even ask how much it was, but guys, it was a super cool piece, guys. I just want to add in real quick. This video is almost over. Shout outs to everyone at the event, like I said. I appreciate everyone bringing their stuff out to show it off. Guys, and whoever made some money out there, salutes to you, man. Alex, I appreciate you. The People's Champ, we salute you guys guys you are the ones who are showing other people that you can do it shout out to az threads as well he was out there didn't have a chance to get him on camera but you already know guys check out all these hats right here guys we saw the dennis the menace you know what i mean all these like cartoon hats to me is something i love collecting check out that dennis the menace i'm telling you guys i got that mickey one in the crib you already know tweety y'all see it y'all see the snow white one the mighty ducks check out that one in the front this is their thing if you want to end up following them or asking about some questions on any of these pieces check out that fred flintstone dennis the menace subscribe to the channel and hit me up guys you already know this is the end of the video here guys we went out and supported the boy and stuff alex shout out to you happy anniversary on the store many years to come bro you already know this is ETI Vintage and I'm out. How much I owe you? Uh, it would just be 800. All right, bet. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, okay. Did it make these or what? Oh, yes. Okay. They're real. Okay, okay. Do I get it back? No, we're in my room. Cool. Thank you, uh, sir. Cool. Thank you, sir. See ya.